Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Greetings, true believers. I wish that held the excitement that this movie did. I'm going to be talking about the New Mutants. I don't know what to say. You had a lot of time for this movie. It had so many delays. I talked with my friend. I had a feeling, or we had a feeling, that this was a TV show first, maybe? In concept, maybe? I don't know. But I was somewhat optimistic about the trailer. It caught my attention a while ago. And then it got its delays, but I was like, oh, wow, this is cool. I remember the New Mutants. I remember the giant size. I have issue one. I like the transition into X-Force. I'm a fan of comic books. I'm a fan of somewhat the X-Men um, movies. And there are some stinkers. There's some what the fuck moments. But there's some solid movies there, and I enjoy them. I don't think they hold up to the overall consistent uh, Marvel movies, but there's some gems in there. Now, the New Mutants, it feels out of place. It, it doesn't want to expand it. It felt restricted and... The first thing I realized is that I wanted to shit on the movie, but there were things that I liked. Or I started loving. Like, I think this happened to me with another fucking X Men movie. Like, I'm not a fan of Game of Thrones, and which is ironic because she's another actress in here. But let's talk about Jean Grey for a second, the girl who plays Danza. I watched one of the movies and I was like, you know what? I kind of like her as Jean Grey. I don't know if it's the height, the bone structure. And I don't blame actresses for actors for some of the things they do. Like, it's not Natalie Portman's fault. She's obviously a fine actress and the prequels. Well, anyway, I didn't want this last, because I think this is the last of the era, right? Of sort of Fox. And now that Marvel did their buyout type Disney thing, whatever that is. And. You're going to do The New Mutants. It's uh, not too known. It's not... Um, I guess it has its own following, in a sense. Like, I would, uh, in, a, in a comic book collector type, uh, you know, uh, way of thinking. But who's clamoring for a New Mutants movie? Maybe at the height of the X-Men, when things started getting righted. I mean, that's been up and down, let's be honest. Let's say at the height of the height of the X Men and peaking with like Deadpool, um, Old Man Logan, the Logan movie. All right, so maybe it fits there. You could connect it where in the Logan movie it's the future, but she's mentioning kids from the New Mutants, the X twenty three. And that would be the kids that are rescued would have been the new mutant. So I would have thought that you could have continued that storyline. So put X-23 on the team, call it the new mutants and continue that storyline. And eventually she becomes Wolverine. I mean, you can kind of play with it. But here we have a movie that was delayed, had a good trailer in my opinion, Started to watch it, realized I, 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 I was kind of done with X-Men movies in a way from Dark Phoenix and the movie fucking showed me some things I loved and it just shit on it in a way. It, just the atmosphere was spoiled, the setups were spoiled and some of them were great. And speaking again about a Game of Thrones actress, I thought she was great for Ron or Rain. Wolvesbane and whatever. There were a couple of the actors I didn't agree with, but for most part, I would say Rain is spot on, good. 
uh, Magic, Ileana, spot on, good. I like Danny Moonstar. I didn't like Sunspot, and I had an issue with Cannonball. When I first saw the trailer, not looking into it, sometimes, you know, you're in the mood where you don't want to know too much. You want to be, you know, so you're trying to tend to stay away from things. But I thought from the trailer that he was going to be Richter. Don't know why. Just a thought that entered my head. It kind of stuck with me. But this was not the cannonball I would have liked to have seen on the screen. I'm glad he's he was in it. That cannonball, because I love cannonball as a character. Um, could be considered like a prodigy and eventually, potentially, um, one of the best leaders of the mutant teams. Since he learned from Xavier, Magneto, Logan, Cable came into his own right, joined the X-Men. He's one of those characters that's been fleshed out and somewhat respectable in the comics through some of the iterations and runs. So I see Cannonball's there. I'm okay with the limited power display. I don't believe you need to have constant explosions, super power effects. It helps when it serves the purpose. So I thought that that's what this movie was going to do. But things never, like, it's like, a, it's almost like missed opportunity after missed opportunity. I wanted to really like this movie after I started seeing the things that were, like, catch. I was like, oh, wow, this is really good. I love this. And it went nowhere. Everything turns around. It seems like it's edited wrong. And I, I'm going to get the impression that it's a... You know, it's, it's the last ditch effort to, I guess, Fox did. I really didn't bother to um, look that much into it. I'm a little disappointed in that. Because um, uh, it was always, like, 2018 or something. And all, you know, rumors and who was going to be in it. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I had mixed feelings of being excited about the trailer getting pissed from maybe phoenix and kind of you know just kind of done with it waiting for marvel to take over but then watching it going oh wow this is a and then oh well this is i liked it oh no no. it doesn't get to where it needs to be fast enough it doesn't um doesn't pay off what it builds up in certain 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 ways that you're just scratching your head. Now, I think I could see a real talented editor with enough time, and I thought they would have enough time, to make a really cool movie out of this. Like, I could see people more talented at this than me, and, you know, who know just the ins and outs of how this business works, who could go, you know what, this is a travesty, because there's something good here. I mean, you weren't going to make the best movie um, is it better than the fucking Fantastic Four debacle? I think so. Uh, is there little elements in it that I loved? Yes. Mentions and payoffs here and there, sure. But it seemed timid that it didn't want to commit in certain circumstances. So, this is a weird one. I I don't like the way they went out, if you want to call it that. Is it... A fox thing? Is it a... I don't know. I, I don't know because of all the stuff with the courts and were they even going to allow Disney, Marvel to get all the fox stuff and they agreed that it wouldn't be news outlets and I don't know. Are there... Are there People who get bonuses if the if the, the movie is canned and done and ready to be released, because I think this is plagued with um, delays and reshoots. It reminds me, in an opposite way almost, of uh, Suicide Squad, where it was a jumble mess that tried to keep moving forward and, and disjointed edits, and this was slow, methodical, edited bad, and it, that's just. Almost worse because you you start sitting in these um, wells of 
nothing happening and you you were just on something good and that sometimes i guess that can work i, I do like a slow building thriller um the psychological horror of what's going on like i said there are things to like in here but as a whole i can't believe that they they committed to this and we're gonna put this cut out whatever what's that they call it these days the cut whatever the new mutants i mean not the biggest uh draw for the x-men franchise if you're not going to call it something like uh, the new X-Men, Uncanny X-Men, the name Mutant. I mean, is this the last this effort they just threw it out there? People who have to put their stamp on it to get their paychecks and their bonuses. And then it's just put out there. And I don't know. In this day and age, can a movie like this ruin things? I don't know. Marvel might have a harder time folding it in. Not it, meaning they're going to take the fucking New Mutants and run with it. But the X-Men in general, the mutants. So, I, I see a lot of things affecting this movie. But with all the time and all this talk about reshoots and stuff, you would think that it was... It was going to be worth it. So... I don't know. There's Disney uh, rumors they didn't have faith in the movie. It wasn't going to be box office potential. From what you can read on, you know, the wiki and stuff. So, I think it's a list this effort. People to get paid to get the, you know, I don't know how it exactly works. Like I said, there are people who know better than me. But just... I don't know. Get it out there. It was done. Don't let it linger. Like, I would rather wait another year and a half for the for the Marvel branch to dissect it and make it something really good. Because I would have seen some of the things that were potentially great. So, I don't know. I just... I guess it's the end of the era, I guess, of uh, the X-Men from Fox. And calling it X-Men is... Well, they mentioned a lot. And one of the characters, Magic, Ileana, is Colossus's sister, Peter Rasputin. I don't think they mentioned that, or I missed it. And they do make mention of the X-Men and the school. And there's a, whole, there's a little confusion in the plot, plot. I don't give plot and synopsises, deep dives... Well, maybe not yet if there's some, you know, need for it or interaction, but there's a weird plot that just kind of like goes nowhere. And you, you, I, I, I understand being um, misled in a good way, fine, but it, things just started falling and dropping like rocks and moments were spoiled and I... Uh, I wish I could recommend this, uh, you know, to say, like, they pulled it out because the last Phoenix movie from the X-Men had a couple of nice effects, but it was just, you know, it just doesn't highlight it for me. And again, I like some of the actors, uh, that first class generation, there's some solid actors in there, uh, good performances, just... Nothing to really work with, I guess. Um, even going to the X-Men Apocalypse, uh, you know. I mean, is it something that's going to get me through the movie without bashing my head against the wall? Sure, but... The New Mutants was a somewhat up-and-down ride of disappointment. Um, just to recap, excited about the trailer. Time goes by, you... You're lost in the delays or reshoots or whatever. We're going through this bullshit. You got pandemics. You got um, movie theaters closed and restaurants. I mean, all of a sudden, they're going to release it. And I don't know how you can see this. I mean, I guess you know, right? You just want to recoup what you can. 
I would have liked to have seen it shelved and dissected and really treated well. You had potential here. You had potential to start uh, an offshoot group, a side running group. I mean, I think they were going to do it with Deadpool. I'm not sure if they still will with X Force. I mean, he has a strong tie to that group and eventually joined Cable. I had a disappointment. Um, just kind of a thud. It just had such potential in certain parts and it's even weird saying that because when the whole thing is over it adds to the disappointment it's just oh what you could have done what you should have done i'm not you know i'm not a happy viewer this is not something i mean i'll watch it again probably i mean it's a good copy uh when it's um get get a better idea i always like to do that anyway I just, I don't know. I'm a fan of comic books, fan of New Mutants, know about their history. I'm not even griping about that too much. I say this sometimes, if you're going to do something different and or even outright change and shit on a character, fine. Do it well. So although I didn't like Sam Guthrie, uh, Cannonball's portrayal, his attitude, his mannerisms, the way he spoke. I would have been fine with it if the movie was fucking awesome. <laughs> anyway, I guess it's the end of a sad end to this chapter. Because I think the uh, X-Men Phoenix movie and this one really just, you know, put the nail in the coffin and, and even trying to work with it. Because let's say Marvel, Disney could have said oh look at the success of this these movies let's take these actors and let's let's put let's put them in i guess you have to check with contracts and all that crazy shit but it, could they have borrowed it this looks like you know what let's distance ourselves from this let's start our own shit one of the rumors i saw or read was there'll be a hulk movie and that's how they'll introduce wolverine which i guess would tie into his like origins in the 70s being dropped in to confront the Hulk. We'll see. But the New Mutants just doesn't pay off too many. Dropped the ball too many times. Dropped the rock too many times. Because it, it's just one one missed opportunity after another. That's the best way I could describe it. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll talk to everybody next time. Bye-bye.